This program was made possible by contributions to the Animation Entertainment Channel from viewers like you. Thank you. And by Benson's Grill, proud to support programming from Animation Entertainment. Benson believes that citizenship means making your community a better place to live. Benson's Grill, the little diner that could. about something, aren't you? Yeah, but can you guess why? I don't have to guess. I know I'm taking a day off from work so I can spend it with you and your sister. But Mom, how'd you guess that? Same thing happens between me and your father. I didn't even know that. Anyways, in terms of our special day together, the first thing I thought I might do is take you to Grandma's diner for lunch. How's that sound? That sounds neat, Mom! Hey guys, I heard someone's got a day off and is going to spend it with our little boy. My mom and I are spending the whole day together. And she's going to take me to lunch at Grandma's diner first. Yeah, well, Mom, since it's your day off today, can you help me first? Sure, what is it you need help with? I'm about to face, like, the toughest homework assignment of my life, so can you help me? Well, here's another fine mess I'm about to get into. Alright, now, what's 18 plus 27? 18 plus 27 equals 45. 18, 27, 45. Nailed it. Alright, now what's 17 plus 26? 17 plus 26 equals 43. 17, 26, 43. Now what's 16 plus 25? 16 plus 25, 41. 16, 25, 41, piece of cake. I could take a few more of these on. All right, what's 15 plus 24? Well, no, this should be easy considering this is how old I am. It's 39. Good guess, Mom. Once we're on a roll, no one can stop us. Actually, I think I might have been able to take it on my own. Man, it's been so long. I sure wish Mom would hurry up and help Noel finish her homework so we can start our special day. Mom, when are you going to come on so we can start our special day? Not until Nell's finished up her home worksheet. But, you promised. I know, and I want to keep my promise, but Nell's having a hard time with this. That's right, now move it or lose it, Birthright. Hey, what did I tell you about being rude to your brother, Nell? Sorry, Mom. <laughs> Six minutes later. Nell's taking a break to do a phone call, so here I am and I'm all yours. Great! Now, as intended, to Grandma's Diner!
I'm not expecting Prince Charming to bring me a glass slipper or anything, but a phone call would be nice. I don't know about you, Chris, but I sure am hungry. I wonder what I'll be getting. I know what I'll be getting! I know exactly what you want, that chicken tenders plate. And I want to split it with you, Mom! Especially since it's our special day together! That's awful nice of you, Chris, but why don't you keep the tenders, okay? Hey, Chris! Linda! What drinks do you want today? I'll have coffee, please. And I'd like a Coke, please. Coming right up. Five minutes later. Alright, are you ready to order? Yes, we would like an appetizer sampler to start with and I would like a catfish plate, please. And I would like a chicken tenders meal with fries and a side of barbecue sauce. Alright, we have that taken care of, sure. They don't call me Red Riding Hood for nothing. Alright, you be patient and I'll be back with your lunch, okay? Fifteen minutes later. And here's your chicken tenders plate. Enjoy. Thanks, Red! might be from your father. I'll just be a second, I promise. Hello? What is it this time, Nell? I knew it! I knew right from the moment Norman's phone rang it would be no well. You want me to come home and help you finish your homework, because you're annoyed? Mom, please say no and stay here with me! Shush. Not while I'm on the phone with your sister, Chris. Alright, Nell. I'll be home as quick as I can, okay? Okay, bye. So, Mom, um, what's going on, huh? Nell's antsy, because she's about to face the toughest part of the toughest homework assignment of her life, and because I left her to take you to Grandma's diner, as part of our special day together, and she wants my help, so I have to go home and help her. Ah, uh, it's nothing, Mom. You should just let her stay antsy. But how could I do that, Chris? She's in a tough predicament and she needs me to help her. Yeah, but so do I. I know, Chris. I know. Hey, Mom! You go ahead on home. I have a tendency to hang out with my friends for as long as I can, so I'm gonna stay here. By all means, Chris. Hey, Red, can I have a coffee refill for the road and a to-go box? Some big sister I have! She's ruining my special day with Mom! Hey, Pinocchio, Blue Fairy. Where's Chris' mom going in such a rush? Beats me, Pin. Look over there, it's Chris! And just when it seems we're about to have a special moment together, Mom doesn't even have a minute for me! Hey Chris, why the long nose? You know, like, why the long face? Cause whenever Pinocchio tells a lie, his nose grows and all that. Please don't say that, Blue Fairy, it's embarrassing. Sorry. Anyways, what's the problem? What's the problem? I'm mad! I'm so mad I could bang on the floor and throw a fit like Caillou. Today was a day just for me and my mom. But she always has to help my sister with her homework. Gee, that's how I felt when Father turned his attention to helping Blue Fairy. He and I went online shopping to buy a new magic wand to replace the one I lost at the mall. You know, Chris, maybe we should let your mom help your sister finish her homework. Yeah, but isn't she my mom too? Well, as far as I can reckon, you do homework, your sister does homework, even Pinocchio and myself do homework, but your mom's not our mom. That's for sure. Blue Fairy, I don't know if what you're saying makes sense or not. Sorry. Hey, Chris, I think I have an idea so you won't feel so jealous. Well, whatever it is, I hope it works. It should. Remember the time when I lied about being sick so that I wouldn't go to school and be embarrassed? You know something, guys? I just got an idea. An idea? Well, before you tell us about it, did I mention what happened to his nose when he lied about his sickness? You gotta practice being sick. What sicknesses would you recommend for me to have? A stomach ache, the flu, a headache. What? However you want to do it. How about the flu? All right, then. If you want to pretend you've got the flu, then let me hear your best coughing and hacking. Father did that when he had the flu last month, so let's hear it, Chris. All right. <coughs> Great, but a little bit louder, please. that you're sick. Go on. For real? For real? <coughs> I'm 
sick! So sick! Help me! Father! Father! Come quick! Help! I'm sick! Pinocchio! Chris! What's going on here? So keep up the pretending, okay? What's going on, you guys? I'm sick. I want to go home. I want my mom. I'm sick. You're sick. You want to go home. You want your mom. You're sick. Yes, Blue Fairy. Well, that's a little off. Chris, you're right. You do need to go home because you're sick and you do need your mom. Okay, well, in that case, I'd like to thank you for your help, Pinocchio. It was nothing. What are friends for anyway? Pinocchio and I will meet you back at your house when we have all the medicine ready. For now, though, I think this is a job for some blue fairy magic herself. This is you! How does she do that? Blue fairies know magic like Garfield knows lasagna. Figures. I have a bad feeling about this. Poor little kid. I hope he gets home all right. You've got the flu, poor darling. I know, right? Last thing I need now is a wet washcloth for my forehead because it's toasty. Well, don't worry, because I'm going to take good care of you, and I'll have that washcloth wet and on your forehead in no time. Good, because I'm sick. Hi, Mom. And just where do you think you're going? Your brother wanted me to do him a favor. Well, how about doing me one and helping me subtract by nines? I'll get to that as soon as I get your brother a wet washcloth. A wet washcloth? Does he need to scrub behind his ears or something? No, he said he was sick and needed it for his hot head. Let's face it, Mom. He's not sick. His forehead's not hot. And I most of all need your help subtracting by nines because you promised to help me on your day off. I understand, Linda, but I promised the same thing to Chris, too. Well, then, get that washcloth wet as quick as you can and put it on his forehead so we can subtract by nines, okay? Okay, now. He sure knows how to fake him some crud. All right, here you go, Chris. Something to cool that old hot head of yours. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go help your sister real quick. Wait, Mom, hi. What? Oh, that's a can of worms. Mom doesn't even have a minute for me. Okay, the toughie is. What's nine minus thirty? Well, it's lucky I have my calculator to assist me, while I'm in return assisting you, so 9 minus 30 would have to be 21. 21, and it is a bonus that that's how old I'll be in 5 years, alright? 9 minus 29? Mom, could you please come back? This washcloth's too wet! Not now, son. Later. 9 minus 29 is 20. That's how old I'll be as well. 9 minus 28. 19. I want my mom. I heard that, Chris. I have to help your sister first. She's subtracting by nines. Yeah, now buzz off and eat your honey nut Cheerios. What did I tell you about being rude to your brother, Nell? Sorry, Mom. Okay, back on to the subtracting. I'm minus 27. What do I do now? I guess it doesn't matter who's to blame. The important thing is to remember that it's never a good idea to help someone pretend to be sick. I know, but we're Chris's friends and we can't be mad at him. I'm guessing he wanted his mom. But that was not the best way to help. No, no, I feel sorry for him. But since father provides room and board for us, I have to share him with you. And that's all right. Yep, and although there's lots of different solutions, pretending is just not one of them. Maybe I think you should call Chris up on the phone and ask him to tell the truth. You think I should? Alright, now it's time to multiply by 19. Backward. 
All right, what's 20 times 19? Hey, Mom, Noel. What is it now? Chris, me and Noel are about to multiply backwards by 19. Well, I have a confession to make. Well, make it quick, Sonic. We ain't got all afternoon. Me and Pinocchio had a chat on my phone, and now he wants me to tell you guys the truth. I'm guessing you're not sick. That's right, I'm not sick. You're not sick? Is it true? Yes, so I was only pretending to get sick so you and me could spend time together. You see, you only have one day of almost every month, and this time was no exception. Today was a day just for you and me, Mom. But you were always with Noelle instead, having to help her with tough homework. I got mad, I got jealous, I did out. All I wanted was you. Chris, I may have to give a lot of attention to your sister, but that doesn't mean I can't be with you. I understand. Just when you think that things couldn't get worse, Noah interrupted your only date off to spend with me because she has to face a tough homework assignment and wants your help instead of mine. I'm sorry. I only caused trouble for you and I'm really sorry for pretending to be sick. I understand too, sweetheart, but how did you pretend to get that way? Pinocchio. Pinocchio's okay, but sometimes he's a real troublemaker, and sometimes when he lies about something, his nose grows longer than all the Star Wars movies combined. He called me up because he wanted me to tell you the truth. Mom and Noel, I'm sorry. We accept your apology, Chris. We really do. Hey, Chris, I think I have an idea. You do? Yeah, I heard you ace five quizzes in a row the other day, so if you and Mom want to have your special day later, I've got a tiny little favor I'd like you to do for me. Fifteen minutes later. And we're done! I guess I still got a long way to go to catch up to you, sis. Guess you can't afford to stand still, especially not when it comes to math. Let's see if we can ask Mom to take us shopping at the mall as a reward. Okay then, before we go, can I say something? Sure thing. I was upset before, because Mom was supposed to spend the day with me, but instead, she was always with you. Now that we're all done with your homework, do you want to join me and Mom's special day together? Gosh, more than anything. Of course, our sibling relationships don't end when we leave home. If anything, they become more important, especially as we grow older. They sure do, Noel. They sure do! Penny, looks like I owe you a big thanks for asking Chris to speak up. I knew you were better at telling the truth than lying. That is so not true. Who, who ever heard of something that silly? <laughs> uh, sorry. <laughs> and now a tip from your friends at Novel Down Junior High. Here's one tip for having a good foundation for improving the mind and spirit, a balanced diet. And if you're like me, you might want to add in some green veggies. Thank you for watching Once Upon a Time in Junior High. Au revoir.